Hi everybody, um, I wanted to do uh, a haul today um, because I went uh, thrifting today, um, this morning, but I didn't really get anything except for, for one um, thing. It was so like, uh, I forgot exactly what they called it, but it, it wasn't um, a permanent um, place, it was just for a few days and they extended it um, I don't remember when, but they had so many things, and it, it's in um, the committee house or something like that. If you're from Bridgehampton, then you can totally correct me. And, yeah, so I'm going to show you the one thing I got, and this is going to be the shortest video ever because it's only one thing, but it's okay. It's cute, and you guys will like it, So, because I really like it. So I thought that this would help with the fall and winter yes I'm planning ahead but I mean it's gonna go by so fast that fall and winter is gonna be here and I'm gonna be so happy that I got this and I'm just gonna show you guys if you guys can see it it's a coat that's really long there you go it's actually really long it comes to about my, I guess, so my, my it has tooth. It's pink and brown. But what I really love is that it's a leather collar. You guys see that? It's so cute. And it's brown and pink, so it's brown leather. It's not black, because that would be kind of weird. But it has it on the pocket, too. I just think that's so cute. I love the hound's tooth. I love everything about this jacket, the length, and it was free people. And I just researched their coat, and some of them definitely came to almost $300. So if I had to guess, this is, you know, around a $200 jacket at Macy's. And I got it for $35. Now that is awesome because I got this coat at a fraction of the, price of the price that it was originally worth plus it was half off at this consignment store. So this was the best deal of my life because I'm going to wear this forever and I'm going to cherish it and I absolutely love free people. I think they're like just because they have the more best. of a boho style and I'm more boho I guess yeah so I really love this jacket and it's pretty much the only thing that I got I didn't get anything else because I just didn't find anything I looked at the Salvation Army in Riverhead but it was so small and there wasn't a lot of stuff so again it's hit or miss um, if you're new at thrifting just keep going back don't give up on the place just keep going back and you'll eventually find something that you like and you have to sift through everything and you have to look through everything because you don't know exactly what you'll find some can be really cool pieces some can be new but cheap just like this coat that I got um you know you never you never know so just you know look around in your neighborhood I do recommend going to the wealthier neighborhoods as, I don't know, as weird as that sounds. I live in like a high middle class area um, to wealthy area, but I'm not rich. So going to an area that's, you know, big mansions everywhere and it's mostly wealthy people that live there. Um, You'll find great stuff at their stores, like, I'm not gonna lie. So, I definitely recommend going to their stores. Some people think it's gross, I don't really care. Um, you wash the stuff before you wear it, it's pretty gross if you don't. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was my show and tell because it was only one thing. And,. But it, it's a beautiful thing. Look how gorgeous this coat is. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So I hope, hopefully, next week or next week, yeah, in two weeks I'm leaving for college. So I'm going to hopefully try to get some stuff in before 
Um, just let me know if you guys want college stuff, though. So, um, try and comment below anyone who feels like watching less. Um, just, yeah, let me know if you want to see anything that I'm getting for college or anything that I'm bringing with me. Um, any tips, ideas. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, talk to you guys later. Bye!